Hello. This uh, update is called It's So Fluffy with an exclamation point. <laughs> How do you put into a page of words what happened over a three week period of time? Especially when a day could not go by without something completely divine happening. I'll just have to skip a bunch of stuff, but if you want more details, let me know and we can work something out, I'm sure. I've never seen anything like it or been a part of something that has been so unambiguous. Sometimes it would be small things like when I went to text a friend and as I'm opening my phone, he texts me. Other times it was big things like finding 11 people in Ponella who have a heart to counsel girls when we, are wondering, when we were wondering how we would even be able to find one. Since I've been home, I'm still trying to comprehend everything. Jesus has shown me his heart in a new light. For the first time, I saw Jesus as one of those really energetic children that is super excited about everything. The perfect example is the girl from Despicable Me who yells, It's so floppy, I'm going to die! At the sight of a stuffed animal. If you want to laugh, just click on the link in the email. Um, seeing Jesus this way astonished me. Shortly after the astonishment, I was reduced to a joyful rubble of tears. I've never seen Jesus. Uh, I've never seen Jesus's passion so clearly. I've never connected with him so intimately. He is crazy stoked about the opening of this home, and bringing me along in the process. Then he whispers, "I so clearly want the world to see that I am." doing this because of how deeply I care about these girls who have been abused and feel like no one is there for them. So we invite you to pray over this project and Hannah and Haley as they are still in Malawi. The construction of the home has been delayed a few months, but we are not worried about it because it has given us the extra time that we've needed to hire the staff. Our goal is that when Hannah and Haley leave in the middle of December, the home will be up and running in the hands of Malawians. Pray over continued unity between the Hannah and the Haley through this as well. Side note, I have to tell you the goat testicle story. So we were walking down the street. Dan wanted me to film, uh, he wanted to film a guy who was cooking on the streets. And uh, so I went over and asked him uh, if that would be okay and then proceeded to order something. Um, I recognized some liver and some intestines, but I had never seen this gooey circular object before. <laughs> Maybe it's an eyeball, I thought, as I told him. I'll give that a try. I take a bite, and I ask, you know, what part of the goat is this? And he puts his hand right over his groin, like Michael Jackson style, and we all laughed profusely. Uh, after some finagling, I talked to Dan and Hannah into taking a bite of it as well. Um, if you saw the tweet that said that we all ate it unknowingly, sorry for any confusion, um, I thought it was too difficult to try to summarize this experience in 140 characters, and so I just simplified it to that. <laughs> um, P.S., which means postscript, which is pretty cool. Um, the When the Saints dinner banquet is approaching, November 9th. We have a number of tables still available to be hosted, and there's a flyer attached to the email with the banquet details. Uh, if you would like to host a table, just reply to this email and let us know. We will send you more specific information about that and what's involved. And then a quote is, a wise physician once said, the best medicine for a human is love. Someone asked, what if it doesn't work? He smiled and answered, simply increase the dose. And Psalm 12, verse 5, it says, Because of the oppression of the weak and the groaning of the needy, I will arise, says the Lord. I will protect them from those who are oppressing them. All right. Thank you so much. I love you all. All right.